hello friends today i will explain you how to use job shared variable so there are two functionalities of job shared variable first you have basically create slash copy for every job instance and the second one is that uh, we, we 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 can use it in a sub process and we don't have to define any input and output schema for providing input value to a sub process or getting a return value from sub, sub process to main process so okay first we have to create a job shared variable we how this can be done as a go to add resource go to general activities and here we can choose this job shared variable once you choose this then in the configuration we don't have to give anything in the schema we have to define what value we are going to use so i'm going so i'm given the value uh, so i've given the variable name as variable underscore value and it is of int size integer size so i'm, I am not building its initial value so in the main process i, I will be building its initial value so this is my main process job shared process here i have not defined anything in the start activity in the set variable in the configuration tab we have to define the variable configuration by clicking on this button so so this is the job shared variable configuration that we just made and in the input i will be specifying the initial value so here i am the specifying the initial value of job shared variable in this process so after that i have made a sub process role where I am not providing any input and I am not receiving any output as well from the sub process. In the sub process, first I will be obtaining the variable value that I so the value here I would get is 100 because I have set the value in the main process as 100. And the configuration is same as we have set there. And now I am setting a new value in the sub process. So this value will be the value that i got from the get variable so this value will be 100 plus 100 will be equivalent to 200 so as you can see i am not returning anything all is blank so let's get back to our main process so here after once the sub process call is over i am i'm trying to see the value uh, what value is here in the variable value so I, i'm going to run this main process and let's see what is the final value so here once once again i have set the value of 100 here initial value and in the call process i'm incrementing the value to 100 plus so uh, it should uh, it will make the value is equivalent to 200 and here we should get the 200 as a value So as you can see the value is 200 the value 200 is being set here the input that the output is 200 so now one okay so if, if it would have been shared variable then if we will make another job instance then the value will be incremented from the 200 okay uh, as I as I showed you in my previous shared variable video, but now it's a job shared variable. Short job shared variable. So when I if I will create a new job instance, a fresh copy of this variable value will be provided. So if I see here, again the value is 200, and in the case of shared variable, it would have been 400. That's all for today. For more updates, please visit tiktoguru.org.